we worship. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Hallelujah. Good morning, Pastor. Amen. How are you? We are blessed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, uh, let us pray and welcome the Holy Spirit. He's a senior partner in our life. He's our senior brother. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the one who was in the beginning with God the Father and Son. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the finger of God. He is the one who performs signs and wonder miracles. The Bible says in the book of Romans, we don't even know what to pray, but the Holy Spirit help us in that seat. Amen. Hallelujah. So let us ask the Holy Spirit. Let us invite the Holy Spirit to come and lead us tonight, this morning in the name of Jesus and even touch the areas we didn't touch. In the mighty name of Jesus, we need the help of Holy Spirit to guide us, to lead us. So let us welcome his presence. We know he's already in our midst, but let us ask the Holy Spirit to come and minister on a very special way unto us as your brain so that the Holy Spirit also can minister to our spirit man, so that our spirit man can be, can be blessed. Hallelujah. And even after prayer, Ephesians says, we may, um, so that we must be strong, so that we can stand even after the battle, so that we can stand strong, hallelujah. So let Amen. us, Holy Spirit, to strengthen us until the end, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us invite his presence, Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank we you. thank you for your presence. We thank you that you are present always in our life. Father, we ask tonight, Holy Spirit, to come and minister and us in a very special way, Holy Spirit. We need to bring us Papa, <laughs> <laughs> 
that everyone of the F in the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, we ask you this morning to move from house to house, from person to person, in the mighty name of Jesus, we invite you, Holy Spirit, to move from this one, in the mighty name of Jesus, Spirit of God, in the our hearts, in the mighty name of Jesus, in my mind, my heart, power, but the Spirit of God, says the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Mary, we need your Holy Spirit. We need your love. We need your glory. We need your mercy. We need your mercy, Lord. We need your strength, God. We need your strength for this small world. We need your mighty strength, my Lord. Send your spirit tonight, my father, for special work, my father. Holy Spirit, come and come to me, the come, come and help those who need help. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, please, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, come and be the mighty name of Jesus, come and be the mighty Santo, <laughs> <laughs> 
Trina was Rick, 
Amen. Before we go to our the Lord's prayer, uh, John chapter 14, verse 26 says, But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to you to your remembrance what you ever I have said unto you. Peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you, not has the world gift, gift I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid hallelujah let us thank god for the holy ghost let us thank god for the comforter hallelujah let us thank god for the peace that he is giving us the peace of my the minds the, the, the blessing is like a bless our heart hallelujah let us thank god for this great peace in our hearts as we are praying and release it to the whole world so that each and everyone experience the peace of god in the mighty name of jesus he says in let not your heart be troubled hallelujah many people they are in trouble their hearts are in trouble it's in problem let's pray this is the heart issue hallelujah so that god can heal our hearts can touch our heart we cannot pray with the sorrow heart with the sorrow mindset if there is pain in our heart, it's difficult to pray. Let's pray tonight so that God can give us that peace, hallelujah, in our hearts, hallelujah. Let God remove trouble out of our, our heart, our life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. Yes, Come for us this morning in the thank mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that thank you for the giving us the spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus to teach us all things, remind us what Jesus is teaching us. My Father, my God, my Lord, my Redeemer, we thank you, Jehovah, my Father, the peace that you give us, Father, in the name of Jesus, our Rapa, 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 Rapa,
This manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, come be done in heaven, 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 is the kingdom, the power, power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now, um, as we know, we are teach about our Lord's prayer. Hallelujah. Uh, we are going to release every benefit in the Lord's prayer upon the earth, hallelujah, upon Amen. every country, every land, hallelujah, every city, every town, hallelujah. We are going to release every benefit, hallelujah, that is in the Lord's prayer, thy kingdom come that will be done on earth, hallelujah. We Amen. are going to preach specific for the Western countries, hallelujah, let them experience the presence of God in their lives, hallelujah. Whatever Amen. they are going through, we must pray so that God's kingdom must come down in their midst, hallelujah, so that God will take over, hallelujah. God is greater than any powers on earth. He is greater than any works of darkness, hallelujah. Doesn't matter what they are going through. Doesn't matter whom they are worship. This is our duty, and we have Monday to bring the presence of God down on earth as it is in heaven. So we Amen. are going to be in every Western country, hallelujah, so that the will of God will be done in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, we are going to enforce, we are going to enforce the power of God, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the moment we pray, the heaven will respond, hallelujah. Mm. We have authority, hallelujah, and whatever we say on earth, it is our heaven in heaven, hallelujah. We have that mandate, the Bible says, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you release on earth shall be released in heaven. So we have the keys of the kingdom of heaven, hallelujah, to open Amen. the Lock and lock up, hallelujah. So we are going to release the presence of God on earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are sleeping when they wake up morning, they will experience certain things. They will experience the visitation of Holy the angels of God. Let's pray and release the angels of God will move. Some of them they will think they were dreaming, but they will hear the sound of angels singing and praising the power of God on earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Rikia, 
Ini 
Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. There is salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight, hallelujah. Amen. As Pastor Anna has say in this week, and we pray for the glory of God to be visible in our lives. Hallelujah. That is Amen. the reflection of God himself in our lives. Hallelujah. It must Amen. be visible in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, praying about apostolic government. Hallelujah. We are going to pray as God has put it in order for apostles, hallelujah, to be the head, mm-hmm. head in five, to be the part of fivefold ministry, hallelujah. So the power of God will be seen in our lives and be more effective when God's servants are biblical aligned in prophetic apostolic order, hallelujah. We are going mm-hmm. to pray apostolic order, hallelujah, the, the, the mm. grace that is in apostolic. Now, as we are moving from prophetic to apostolic season, we are all moving in that grace and that anointing like, like our bishop, hallelujah, because our mm. bishop carries prophetic apostolic anointing. So we are going to move in that mm. apostolic anointing. That is the only an- anointing that God's going to use on ever right now, prophetic apostolic to bring the people back to Christ, hallelujah. Prophetic mm-hmm. ministry was to appear the up- We are called as Christ love ministry in apostolic <laughs> ministry, hallelujah. So let us mm-hmm. bring it in order, in align with the word of god hallelujah praise the lord so let us pray and release the anointing meaning wherever the holy spirit lead us like our mission we are going to plant churches so wherever we plant churches we we raise the god raise apostles prophets and that anointing will cover the earth that anointing cover the certain country territories regions and and it will bring People do the Lord, it will bring people back to Christ. Hallelujah. So God Amen. will not do anything on earth. He needs you and me. He needs our bodies, hallelujah, to cooperate. So let us pray. Number one, we must be willing to move in this season, in this anointing, and uh, in this convention, as Bishop always says, the great anointing is will be released. We can feel it already, we can sense it, we can see it. Hallelujah. If you are Amen. in 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 the spirit you can already receive that grace hallelujah so we are going to pray in western countries god will raise people in prophetic apostolic people who can run with this vision that we have in christ life ministry like bishop said we must raise in the sisters prophetic in the sisters apostolic in the sisters people we can pray people we can see visions people we can Bring God in the midst of people. So let us pray in the mighty name of Jesus. 
so that God can raise more in the social prophetic people in the mighty name of Jesus.
Amen. 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 Lord, we are going to pray according, according to Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Hallelujah. And we are going to release dominion, the mandate that God has given us. Hallelujah. And Luke Amen. chapter 4, verse 18, it reads as follows. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. They had sent me to heal the broken heart, to preach deliverance to captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set a liberty them and praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We, must, we are going to pray and release that grace that we have, hallelujah, the mandate Amen. that the Lord has given us, amen, with a reign and rule with Christ in us, hallelujah, amen, amen. so we are going amen. to pray about apostolic dominion, hallelujah, as an apostolic church of Christ, hallelujah, as Christ love ministry in the national, we have that dominion, we have that mandate, hallelujah, like the Bible says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, hallelujah, so Jesus clear that the spirit of God was upon him, because the Lord is anointing him, so as we as children of God, as a Christ love ministry members, we are baptized with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The day you give your life to Christ, you receive the full package of Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And you are powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. You are too much. Hallelujah. You are too big to be arrested. Hallelujah. You are too, too small, hallelujah. So we are going to use that anointing as we are going in the high level of spiritual warfare, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So when God's Amen. presence and apostolic alignment is in order, when God and apostolic is in align, hallelujah. When Amen. apostolic and prophetic ministry is in align with God, the devils, demons, principalities, powers, dominions and rulers cannot resist the power of God, hallelujah. The power Amen. of God, the manifestation of God's presence, hallelujah, they cannot resist, hallelujah. When Amen. we are in align with God, hallelujah, when we are hearing and, and do what the Lord says, the demons cannot stand against us, hallelujah. No powers Amen. of darkness can stand against us. If the presence of God is in us, His mighty presence will be seen, hallelujah. So Amen. powers of darkness, powers of darkness over regions, territories, and nations will bring down in the mighty name of Jesus. So as we are praying in every Western country, in Africa, wherever the darkness is ruling, wherever the darkness is, in the regions, in the territories, over the nations, we are going to break down that darkness. We are going to bring the light, hallelujah. Amen. so that they can open the way of God's kingdom, hallelujah. They must Amen. open up so that the kingdom of God must come down, so that God's kingdom must be seen in lives, in the people's lives, hallelujah. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus, shall we pray, Martin, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, Father, we bring down your presence. We bring down your presence. Father, we bring 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 your presence.
in every country, in every in America, in UK, but we bring down your presence in Australia, we bring down your presence in China, we bring down your presence, let your presence be seen, let your presence Manifest in Rapa <laughs> Papa, 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 Papa,
Praise the Lord. As we know, we are, as we know, we are in the second apostolic age. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. We are the nation to, to, to prepare the second coming of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. So the Lord is restoring apostolic authority in F. Hallelujah. And we Amen. thank God we are the part of it. Hallelujah. We thank Amen. God that God has chosen us as Christ's love ministry to be the part of his restoration work. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. As God is restoring apostolic authority on F. Hallelujah. We, we move with the Holy Spirit. will be able. Hallelujah. In the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. So Amen. as this occurs, the kingdom of God is established and the ruler of his coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So as Amen. God is preparing, hallelujah, to establish Amen. his kingdom, meaning wherever we are planting churches, we are preparing, hallelujah, for the Amen. second coming of Christ. Hallelujah. So the Amen. kingdom of God will come down very soon. Hallelujah. I mean, Amen. as we are bringing every day his kingdom come, will be done on earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is why we pray Amen. every day the Lord's prayer. Hallelujah. So Amen. the purpose of the Lord's prayer is to displacement of the evil devil's powers and authority on earth. We are going to displacement. We are going to remove his power so that... Amen. The earth begin to reflect heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's why we say, let you come. come. So meaning the earth must reflect heaven. Hallelujah. We must Amen. bring heaven on earth. So we must replace the devil's powers must be removed. The authority must the authority of darkness must remove in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why we pray every day, Lord's prayer. Hallelujah. So that Amen. Heaven must be seen on earth, we must reflect, hallelujah, God's Amen. kingdom, amen, Lord, hallelujah. Amen. This heaven only from the authority that God has entrusted in the hands and hearts of his apostles, hallelujah. The true apostles, the true prophets, hallelujah, it's it will only heaven, hallelujah, when amen. they come up, hallelujah. On spot, those who are get ready, those who are give their times in prayer, seeking God, hallelujah, like we are doing, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God will put in our hearts that his trust is us as an instrument, hallelujah, mm -hmm. 
That's why mm-hmm. we learn every day. God give us revelation from about Lord's prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The truth is that God's dominion in F is is going to connect it to us, hallelujah. Amen. It's connected to release of apostolic authority, hallelujah. So God Amen. is going to connect it, uh, connect us with that great authority so that the F can see we are uh, sent, hallelujah. There will be Amen. signs and wonders. There will be miracles. Those who wait for the signs and wonders, they will see, amen, and they will follow God amen. by the grace of God, hallelujah. Amen. The more amen. fully we see the apostolic ministries established, the more we plant churches, even in uh, Namibia, the more we plant churches, meaning we are releasing for apostolic anointing that is upon our bishop, that is upon the ministry in the towns, in the cities, hallelujah. So the, the greater the dominion of the Lord will be in the earth, hallelujah. The more churches we plant, the more anointing we release, the more power of God will be seen. And the reflection of God's culture, they will see God, hallelujah. In mm-hmm. churches, the people will see, ah, this ministry, this church, let me go there, let me visit there. And once they visit that will experience the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's pray that anointing. Let us pray that grace be released upon our churches, upon our branches. Hallelujah. And God will Amen. raise men and women. He will raise sons and daughters who can run with vision. Hallelujah. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus, you people will start seeing, preaching somewhere and get ready. God is going to prepare you. God is going to send you out to countries. Maybe God who can send you to China of America. You go and do his work. Hallelujah. Amen. Get ready for this anointing. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God is going to do great things. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not the local champions. Hallelujah. When God spoke and say, go there, China or whatever, it's meaning God wants to bring his kingdom there. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. So let us pray. Hallelujah. As God is preparing us also so that we can move with God himself, so that we can move with the anointing and the Holy Spirit lead us in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray, pray, pray in tongues. in our Papa, <laughs> <laughs> 
Amen. Um, first Samuel, first Samuel chapter five, first Samuel chapter five from verse one to seven. First Samuel chapter five. Hallelujah. Amen. We cannot, yeah, as we are waiting, yeah, we cannot see this heaven until the principalities that rule the riches are removed. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, from verse 1. Amen. 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 And the Philistines Amen. took the ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer unto Asdod. When the Philistines took the ark Amen. of God, the ark they brought it into the house of Dagon and set it by the moon. And when they asked of us not arose here to the morrow. Behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the earth. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. In his place again. And when they rose early on the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground. For the act of seven. Can you move to, to verse 5, 6, and 7? I'm uh, 5 and 7. Okay, 4, 5, and 7. 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah. And when they rose early on the morrow morning, behold, and when they rose early on the morning, to the ground upon the ark of God and the, the head of the Lord, Lord and the head of the Lord and both the palms of his hands were out of the Only the stump of the Lord was left. Therefore, therefore the neither the of the priest of the Lord nor any that come to the house of the Lord all of the Lord until this day. But the hand of the Lord was given upon them, and he destroyed them and smote them with a marrow, even as all, and caused thereof. And when the men of Asdol saw that it was that they say the ark of God of Israel shall not abide, shall not abide with us for his hand is upon us. And I will and down, down our, our, our God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see that? Hallelujah. So we are going to pray and release the hand of God upon every ruling spirit in every territory, in every region. Hallelujah. 
There is a spirit that rules in every areas, in every country. We know in China they are worshiping dragon. That is their god. Hallelujah. So as you are seeing in Bible, this god, Dagon, it was their god. They worship God, Dagon. They, they trust him for harvest. They trust him for everything. They believe in that God. And they thought that when they arrest the earth, the covenant of God, they thought they arrest the, the Lord and they bring it into their temple. By their surprise, the next morning when they rose, their gods fall down and broke down. Hallelujah. That is what is going to happen right now. Hallelujah. As you are going to pray, the angels of God will be released all over. Wherever their idols are planted, wherever their evil altars are, will be destroyed tonight by the fire of Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are under the sea, in the ocean, rivers, in graveyard, wherever they are planted, wherever they are worshiping right now, wherever they are monitoring us, whatever they are doing right now, they are gods who will be broke down now in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the only way that for us to see the gods begin to reign. The principality that re rule in the regions will be removed. Hallelujah. The, from their influence and dominion. Hallelujah. That influence they have over the nations, that dominion that we have over the nations it must be cut off. Their arms must be cut off. Hallelujah. That rulership must be cut off as we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank 
Brethren, the battle is real. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We need to pray. Hallelujah. We thank God Amen. for our bishop to teach us how to pray. Hallelujah. And Amen. hallelujah. My God bless her. Amen. Hallelujah. This is where we as Christ Love Ministries come in to pray for the nations. Hallelujah. Like Apostle Paul says in Corinthians 9:26, he said, Therefore I run thus not with uncertainty. That's I fight not as one who beats the air. Hallelujah. So one who beats the air or solo boxing will expend of expend much energy and effort and accomplish accomplish nothing except to wear himself out. Hallelujah. So he's not blowing out, he's, he's not blowing his opponents, he's doing nothing. There is no damage being done in adversaries. But we thank God, hallelujah, we are teach how to pray, amen. We know what God is teaching us, hallelujah, to do, to be effective, hallelujah. If, um, Ecclesiastes says, uh, Give us, uh, it's like, uh, teach us. He said, but the Lord is teaching us how to be more strategic and less depending of ourselves while gaining more resource. Hallelujah. So that's why we must give ourselves unto the Lord. Hallelujah. So that God can help us. Now, in this verse, he says this, he declares, if the ox is dull and on does not serpent the age, then he must use strength, but wisdom brings success, hallelujah. So we must take time to serven the ox, hallelujah. We must serven the head of the ox and become more proficient, hallelujah, in our mm -hmm. efforts in the kingdom of God, hallelujah. So we must use wisdom we must with grace of god hallelujah so that we must be more effective in the work of god hallelujah uh ephesians chapter six ephesians chapter six we are going to overthrow the powers of darkness Amen. ephesians chapter six verse 12 ephesians six verse 12 
Ephesians 6. Yeah. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness. Is whatever now. Of this world, yes. wickedness in high places. Oh, Jesus. Let me repeat. For we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against the spiritual wickedness in the air. Hallelujah. So why Apostle Paul spoke of wrestling with principalities and powers. So it shows that there is identities they are in places of influence over regions and territories that determine the atmosphere, culture, and activities. So we must deal with that powers. We must deal with the powers that influence people, that controls people's mind. So the purpose of the wrestling Paul describes is to subdue these powers and bring them down so that the hearts and the minds of people which in given regions can be returned towards the Lord and his kingdom. Hallelujah. As Bishop said yesterday, we must pray for Western country. So every power controlling those regions, we must bring that power bring down. We must so that the minds of people, the hearts of people must come back to the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray so that we can throw down every power of darkness in heavenly in the places, in the mighty name of Jesus, so that people's hearts must come down, people must come to Christ, people must be blessed, must come to Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the hearts of people must come to Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, people must come to Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, every principality of darkness, every region, we rest to bring down, in the mighty name of Jesus, Powers <laughs> <laughs> Papa, <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. 
Ma 
Thank 
the blood of Jesus in the airways upon the face of the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, thank you. Father, defeat Satan. Defeat coronavirus all over Africa. Defeat coronavirus all over Africa. Defeat coronavirus all over Namibia. Defeat coronavirus all over the Southern region. Defeat it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 
In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, 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 Maybe to share something of bless us. Jesus, 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 I don't know if if I send you a song or maybe you can search it for yourself on the internet. Um, Thy kingdom come, O God. Thy rule, O Christ, begin. Can, can you search for it on the in, on, on YouTube? Thy rule, O Father. Thy kingdom come, Father. We're so tired of the evil on earth. The kingdom Oh, <laughs> 
in the street like we are beginning to see in France in broad daylight is that the Holy Ghost should take over the earth just like this coronavirus has taken over let there be I don't know how to call it pan Holy Ghost let the Holy Ghost take over let the Holy Ghost take over let the kingdom of God come. Let the kingdom of God come. Let, let, let the fire of God spread all over the earth. Let the glory of God be seen in every corner. Oh God, you can say that we were so tired. We're tired of saying evil. We're tired of praying against evil. My father, you are the one who mandated us to pray. Thy kingdom come, Father. Thy will be done on this planet. And let your glory cover the earth. As the world has covered the earth, let your kingdom cover the earth. Let your beauty cover the earth. Let your power cover the earth. Oh God, because it got a bump back when I get sick. Thy kingdom come, my Father. You gave us that word and we've been praying it. My God, because it got a good book of shoulder. You sent us the Lord's prayer. We've been praying it, Father. Lord, this year is coming. To an end, let thy kingdom come. In our private life, in our families, in our individual lives, in our prayer time, in our churches, oh God, in the nations of the earth, thy kingdom come. Oh, Father, we want to see your kingdom. We want to see your kingdom come. We want to hear people praying tongues in the streets, in the supermarkets, in the churches, in the schools, in the government buildings. We want to see people praying in tongues. In the streets of Europe, in the streets of the Americas, in the streets of Asia, the kingdom come that will be done. We want to see in your presence. We want to see the fire of your presence. We want to see the sea move without your presence. We want to see the rams keep without your presence. We want to see his love making the madness move without your presence. We want to see that the madness move without your presence. We are tired of seeing evil. You love us on earth so we can, we can get rid of these evils as we pray. Our Father, Father, we want to see Jesus. We want to see Jesus. We want to see Jesus. In our homes, we want to see Jesus. In the church, we want to see Jesus. On earth, we want to see you. We want to see Jesus. 
Lord, in the many in the children. We want to see you, Lord, in the Sokoro Pokosho, in the Sokoro Pokosho, in the Sokoro Pokosho, in the Sokoro Oh, Jesus, 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 God, in the Sokoro Pokosho, in the Sokoro Pokosho, the kingdom come on her, Makoro Pokosho, Krupo Pokosho, in the Sente, in the Sokoro Pokosho, in the so Alice, can you please play that song one more time and then we can close the meeting. Just play it Jesus. So we need, we need your presence, we need your presence. to you again this morning with our whole heart. Yes, because we know you heard us. We thank you, eternal prophets. We thank you, Father, for your son that you have used. Thank you, Lord, for the words that you have put in his mouth. Thank you, Jesus, for sending out your word and 
Lord. Sending out the words of deliverance from all these destructions. Thank you, Father, that you will take over. Oh, Father, you just have to take over. In the nations, you must just take over. In the schools, in the pastors, in the government. In the body of Christ, oh God, you must take over. Take over, oh God. You will not allow your holy ones to see corruption, Father. We have seen enough. Father, take over. Take over, Kate, the Kurpoko, Sikh, Tente, Kurpaka, Sikh, the Kurpaka, the Kurson. Take over, Father, before it is too late. Take over. Take over on that of our Father, Papa, Kurpoko, Sikh, the Kurpoko, Sikh, Restore the Apostolic Authority. Restore the apostolic blessings. Restore the apostolic fire in the church. Oh, Father, we pray for the West. Restore the strength of the church in Europe, in the Americas. Oh, God, take over. Raise some prayer with your God. Let there be repentance on earth. Let there be repentance, oh God. They can take for the people in the church. In the body of Christ, in the nations of Father. It is only your goodness that can lead men unto repentance. Yes, Nobody can receive anything from above except it comes from you, for thine is the kingdom. The power, the glory, my Father, you control it all. Nobody can repent except by your help, Father, grant mankind the grace to repent and seek you at this time, of oh God. From the presidents to the poorest on earth, Oh, Father, Kadi de Kadi Bako de Boko de Kedeke Sekete Bako Kushon to go de Kesentere. Take over. Let man see your power. Let men and women, let the nation see your glory, O God. Let your glory be seen. Thank you, omnipotent God. We bless you. We thank you, Father, that you have given us this mandate. And yes, with this God. mandate, we thank you for the protection. We yes, thank you for God. the anointing. We thank you for the provision. Yes, we thank you for the grace. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your goodness, oh God. We just commit everyone on this platform into your hands. Everyone, every family represented on this platform. Every one of our churches into your hands. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ. Our children, our families, our businesses with the blood of Jesus. We cover the earth at this time with the blood of Jesus. The blood of the new and everlasting covenant. We cover the entire Christ of ministries. Leadership, membership homes in the blood of Jesus. We cover our coming convention, all the plans we have in the precious blood of the Lamb. All over the earth, the spirit is moving. All over the earth, as the prophet said, it should be hallelujah. All over the earth, there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord. As the waters cover the sea, all over the world, all the spirit is moving, all over the world, as the prophet said, it should be. 
is a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord. Kati de kuku so kute de kuku so kushi kate baba kule kuso. I command the breath of heaven to breathe, to blow, to blow, to blow, to blow over your lives, over our churches, over our homes, over the earth right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for the fresh breath of the Holy Spirit. We worship you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. We seal our prayers with the blood of Jesus. Amen. We seal all that God has done this morning with the precious blood of the Lamb. In the mighty name of Jesus, we seal our lives. We seal our homes. We seal all our devices. We seal our churches with the precious blood of Jesus. We seal everything that concerns us, our health, our minds, in the blood of the Lamb. Any demon of vengeance any spirit that wants to react against these prayers, whether you be human or demonic, we command the fire of God to consume the spirit of vengeance in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, the Lord rebukes you. I am so upset with you. The Lord rebukes you, Satan. The Lord rebukes you. The Lord rebukes all your powers. The Lord rebukes all your agency on them. The Lord the Lord rebukes all your cancer. The Lord rebukes you, Satan. The Lord rebukes you in our lives, in our homes, in the church of God. On earth at this time, the Lord Jesus Christ that died for this planet rebukes you, Satan. The Lord rebukes you. The Lord rebukes all your demons. The Lord rebukes you. Ah, Satan, the Lord rebukes you. The Lord Jesus rebukes you. Amen. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against your kingdom. The Lord rebukes you. You dragons, the Lord rebukes you. You forces on earth, the Lord rebukes you. You principalities, rulers of the darkness of this earth, the Lord rebukes you. The Lord Jesus that died for this world. You never created this world. You never died for this world. The Lord rebukes you. Rebukes you, Satan. Ma kori kese kete de mi oru ko Jesus Satan oru waba oru se oru waba oru was Satan oru waba oru ma kori kese kete Jesus oru waba oru Satan oru waba oru se Jesus oru waba oru was ma kori kete te kari pa kote kese kete I command you to fall down and bow in this world. Fall down and bow in our lives. I command you to bow in our our churches are command you to bow. Ma kore kese kete te koro poko shoko mama kadi kese te kete kese to arise O God and take over. Let your enemies be scattered forever. Let your name be forever praised. You are highly lifted up. Yours is the greatness. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory. Yours is the majesty, Father. Yours is the beauty. Yours is the victory. We we give you the glory. We return the glory to you. We return all the glory to you. We give you all the praise for everything in heaven and on earth. They are yours. You are exalted above them all. We give you praise, Father. Thank you, omnipotent God. The riches and the honor they belong to you. The strength you give to your people. You give peace to your people. You give power to your people. We give you praise, Father. We exalt you. Thank you, Father. As we sleep, we thank you, Lord, that you will grant us the strength that we need to continue to operate according to your will. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Thank you, pastors. God bless you. Good morning. Amen. Bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Bishop. Praise the Lord. Um, look at you. Yeah, just let's, let's.